Okay, let's talk about how to find maximum, minimum, and average values on an uh, integer stream. In the previous chapter, we have created this class stream with range and we created an integer stream. And let me comment out these values not to confuse the things. Okay, even this one. And here, I will find max value, min value, and average. For this, we will use int stream dot max, and this will return an optional, not direct an integer, but optional. First, let me use the result like this. Let's import Java into the optional. Since our stream is directly an int stream but not a generic stream, this method returns an optional int but not a generic optional. That's why I'm converting this to optional int and let's import it. Optional int class is a specialized optional and has some different methods inside it. To get the integer inside this optional, we may use get as int method. Okay? And we may assign it to an integer and let's get it as max and print out it max equals to max let's see the result you see max is 100 now let me show you how to how we find mean value I will use an incline code here from the int stream, I will get min value dot get as int. This is mean, and the other method is average method. This method simply finds the average of all the values inside the range, and average method returns an optional double because the value average value will not be an integer. That's why. It is a double because a fractional number, a floating point number. That's why it returns an optional double, and the related method is get as double. This return a double to us, and let's find the sum of all the values inside it. Let's first change this to average and then sum. Sum method in stream that sum method returns an integer directly. Okay, that's why I'm not using any other methods because this returns an integer directly. You don't have to remember all the uh, return values of these methods. You may check the Java documents and ID also will help you. Let's see all the values now. After writing all this code we have an exception now on this line the problem is that i've told you several times after processing a stream you cannot use this stream again you you need to create the stream from scratch to process the data that's why after each operation you need to recreate the stream from scratch okay let's see it now so all the values are correct now. This is max, this is mean, this is average, and this is sum. So this is the beauty of streams. You don't have to iterate over all the values just to find a common value, an average value, or some value. With only one method, you may calculate all of these values.